Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access your Linux file system from Windows. So let's get started. Okay, the first step you want to take is to open up your web browser and you want to head on over to www.diskinternals.com forward slash Linux dash reader. Okay, so we're going to download Linux Reader made by Disk Internals. It's free software, it runs on Windows, and it allows you to access these different types of file systems. So we've got ext2, 3, and 4, which are Linux file systems. ResearFS, which I believe used to be used for OpenSUSE. HFS and HFS Plus, these are both Mac file systems. FAT and Extended FAT. You will generally find these nowadays on USB thumb drives, um, SD cards, and stuff like that. And NTFS, which is on Windows. So to get it, we're just going to click this download button down here. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. And while it downloads, I'll pause the video here and come back when it's done. Okay, so Linux Reader finished downloading, so we're just going to double click on it to install. Okay, so we're going to click next and then agree to the license agreement and install. And I'm going to leave this ticked over here so that Linux Reader runs as soon as I click finish. Okay, so this is Linux Reader. Now, as you can see, it's detected one physical drive on my system, and that physical drive is partitioned up into four logical drives, which are shown here. So I've got my C drive, which is my Windows drive. This D drive, called Ubuntu, hasn't got anything to do with the Ubuntu file system. It's just a drive that I use for making backups of some files. And we've got the Linux swap volume over here. But the drive that we're interested in is this one over here, which is my Ubuntu file system. So we're just going to double click on that. And there we go, this is my Ubuntu file system. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a file from it and save it into Windows. So to do that, I'm just going to go and click on my home directory and click on Linux Leech and then pictures and I'm going to go ahead and save this picture so you just right click on it and click save and click next now it's asking us for an output folder so where do we want to put it on our Windows machine so I'm going to put it on my desktop and click OK and I'll leave this ticked as it won't affect what I'm doing now, but saving the directory structure will generally save all of the directories preceding the file that you want to save. So it will maintain that structure. Um, I'm just going to leave it clicked as it won't affect anything and click next. Okay, so we're going to leave this clicked because this is the file that we want to save and click next again and there we go it's done so we're just going to click finish and if we head over to the desktop you can see that it saved the image on my desktop now you can use linux reader to access different file systems um, so it will work in exactly the same way on any other file systems that you're accessing um, it's especially useful if you're dual booting because if there's some files you want to transfer over from your Linux partition to your Windows one, then you can just use this. I mean, the only other alternatives are to maybe sign into your Linux partition, plug in an external drive, copy it onto that, and then sign into your Windows partition, which is a bit of a long way around to actually do something. Um, so it's really useful for that, I use it quite a lot um, and there you go, that's Linux Reader so that's the end of that tutorial, thanks for watching
Don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow Linux Leech on Facebook and Twitter. Details on the screen now. Show notes are available as always at linuxleech.com. Thanks again and goodbye.